if I may. Yeah, and, and focus please on uh, what we need to do to improve, if necessary, the, regu the current regulatory system. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll focus right on that. And really, we have the privilege of seeing these regulatory frameworks emerge worldwide, and I think the UK is really on the right track in terms of the most important aspect, which is to provide access to the technology. We see drone technology already saving lives, already improving uh, the economics of doing your job, and also creating art and a lot of fun. Uh, what's of concern, though, with the framework here, and I think um, as alluded to in the, in the, in the early session and, and just now, is the proposed cost for registration. So although registration and knowledge testing, we believe, and, and as we've set out in our recent Elevating Safety White Paper, these are core fundamental aspects of a responsible framework for regulation of all those good uses, but there's a lot of risk if you don't do it right. And a core aspect of uh, registration, particularly on the task force that I worked on three years ago uh, in implementing the very first model for registration around the world, that was the FA registration task force, was to keep it free or as low cost as possible because we really need to encourage voluntary compliance. This is technology that's out there and, and it's widespread. And the worry is that if it's put out of reach, then people will just avoid it. Exactly. And so my understanding is the proposal or suggestion is, is over 16 pounds. That's more than 12 times the cost of registration in the United States. And I frankly don't understand why it would cost so much. And I'm worried that everything that follows from registration, things like remote ID and UTM, will be negatively impacted if that cost is too high.